How are we doing? Uh, Daniel, that ending was kind of like a Daniel, I mean, like a uh, Tarantino movie. There's all kinds <laughs> of different crazy things going on. But as you're sitting there with all the penalties back and forth, what's going through your mind uh, as you're setting up there? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we played a game similar to that, Pittsburgh, where they, you know, kind of, there's no reason to not rush off the edge for them. Um, you know, it's, it's shorter kick. They know, you know, if they can block it, that's probably their best chance. So, um, you know, for me, it's just uh, blocking it out, taking one rep at a time. Um, obviously, you know, there's a certain time where, like, if he's in my face, I can't kick it. You know, just don't want to get injured or something like that. Um, so it, it was, you know, felt like an eternity out there, you know, having to kick it. I think. I think I kicked three of them, you know. Really, I kicked two of them. One, I was like, I might as well try and hit it, and maybe even with the flag it'll count, you know. So I kind of half kicked it. But, um, you know, just trying to take them one at a time and, um, you know, seal the deal. Great game. Great day for the Raiders. That whole thing started That whole thing started with you kicking it to kind of pin them, it seemed, uh, down there to start overtime. Yeah. Was that kind of the plan right there? Uh, honestly, I mean, we were trying to kick it out, uh, you know, so it, sometimes it happens, but our coverage team did a great job. You know, they, they've been busting their butt all week and, you know, all year for that. And so, you know, we're, I feel really good about them. And um, they, they made a great play where, you know, we I think they started on the six-yard line, five-yard line, um, you know, which set the defense and, you know, then in turn set the offense for that next drive. Daniel, week to week, you're seeing these scores of people, you know, these back and forth. You, you lose three straight and they come back. Can you talk about how the league is that way this year, but also how you guys in four days prepared after losing three straight to come in here and win a game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's a competitive league. I mean, that's that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be close games, you know, back and forth all the time. So, um, you know, I, I just know our team, is, I think it speaks a lot to our character, you know, to come on a short week after, you know, facing quite a bit of adversity the last few months, a few weeks. Um, and, you know, to, to play a game like we did, win it over time, that, that's a big testament to our team's character. Daniel, obviously when you make a kick, points go on the board, but A.J. made some really important and big oh, runs huge. today. Yeah. Would you talk about his contribution? Because his maybe don't show up in the stats as points. Yeah, but, I mean, punting is pretty uh, not, not overwhelming. You know, a lot of people don't really realize, uh, you know, just how big that field position battle is. And, um, you know, he's been doing a great job for us every se- all season. Um, and, you know, especially today, just flipping the field, pinning them inside the 20 time, time after time. So, um, you know, he's, he's doing a great job. And, you know, it, it's special to have teammates like that. You know, especially for me, he's, he's doing great holds, snappers, having great snaps. So, um, you know, the, that whole specialist unit, we, we've got a lot of work together. And it's, it's nice to see it pay off today. How much did that locker room need that win? Yeah, I mean, every, every win's important. Um, you know, it, it's it's always, you know, we, we've been working really hard. And, yeah, it's it's tough when things don't go your way for a few weeks. And, um, you know, on a short week to be able to, you know, get a win like that, that, that helps us going forward. So, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I think that just speaks to the character of this team and, you know, our, our will to win. I'm sure uh, near the end of regulation, the offense wanted to get you a little closer. But just how comfortable did you feel going out there for the 56-yarder? Yeah, I mean, it Pretty good. I, I, I was hitting him pretty well um, all game and really really all week. I had like a little food poisoning on Monday, but besides that, I was feeling pretty good all week. So, um, it, you know, just hitting the ball well pregame, felt pretty confident. And, you know, it's one kick at a time. You know, wherever the team's able to set me up, you know, I got to go out there and perform my job. And, um, you know, the whole unit all day did a great job. So, that, they helped me out. As a, as a unit, kind of feel pressure, special teams you had to win to win the game after uh, giving up one earlier. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that that was a big one. You know, anytime our kickoff team, you know, led a big one, you know, they they made a great play, obviously. But you know, for us to kind of redeem ourselves, we pinned them deep in overtime, stuff like that. Um, that definitely helps. So um, you know, we're, we still have a lot of corrections, and you know, we'll we'll get better and enjoy the long weekend, take a little rest, and you know, get back to next week get back to work and, you know, make some uh, adjustments. Were you ever worried you might have to miss the game? Uh, no. I, I mean, yeah, I, I told him I'll find a way to play if I need to, you know, find some adult diapers or whatever, get a bag, <laughs> a trash, trash bag on the sideline. So, um, but, yeah, it was, uh, I'm good to, good to go. All set? Great. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys.
Uh, okay, good evening. Um, obviously, uh, you know, exciting, exciting uh, for the men in that room to, to um, keep competing to the bitter end and um, come out on the winning end of, of that thing. It was, you know, I'd, I'd say you look at it and it's very comparable, both teams. You know, we had some explosive plays and gave up some explosive plays. They had some explosive plays and gave up some explosive plays, and, and uh, there was turnovers, you know, basically going through that. Um, we, we gave a big play in the kicking game, and then we came back and played really well um, in the punt game. I think we downed them inside the 20 um, four times, and then on their two-point conversion, John makes a big tackle down there, a really good play by them, and, and um, you know, it just gets itself into overtime, and, and we converted when we needed to, and I thought we ran the ball better at the end of the game, and, and uh, just gave ourselves multiple chances, obviously, to kick a a winning field goal, and um, the 56-yard obviously was big. Protection was good on all that. So we ended up on the winning end today. Really excited for the, the effort and, and um, that they've been putting in here now for the last month, and, and uh, we haven't come up on the winning side for a few of these, and, and they did today. So, again, really excited for the men in there um, and the way in which they played throughout the entire game. Uh, so it's good to get a win. Rich, you talked about Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, one at a time, please. Does, does anything surprise you about this league week to week? And for you guys to come back four days after losing the third straight, what does that say about your club? Well, I think, you know, it, it's the Thursday night game, and everybody has to play one, and um, it was the same thing for them, you know, and they were actually on the road, and they had to come back and do it. So I, I thought we had a really good week of preparation, and I think our strength conditioning coach, AJ, did a great job with our guys and, and uh, the things that we had set up ahead of time to do, and, and um, coaches on offense and defense, I thought, had a lot of preparation going into the game, um, going into the week of practice, what we were going to do, how we were going to handle it. Um, and I commend our guys. We, we stayed a little bit later on Monday night, and we shortened the week as we got going. And, and uh, I thought they, they looked fresh, and they, they played to the bitter end with really good energy. So. You've talked uh, a lot this, these last three weeks about playing complementary football. Was that kind of crystallized in overtime? You, you pin them down with a good uh, kickoff coverage. Defense gets them off the field, offense, field goal. Was that sort of what you're Yeah, I just think it, it, it happened. You know, you'd like it to happen like that all the time, you know. And, and uh, obviously we gave up the big kickoff return after we had a, a scoring drive, and, and then you put them right back in the game. And um, them missing a PAT obviously was a big deal. But, you know, Nate Hobbs makes a great tackle on that kickoff. We wanted to put it over there kind of in the right corner, and, and it was inside the 20, I believe. So I had a chance to set our defense. You know, we already – our defense bad field position because we gave up, you know, six points. And, and so, yeah, I thought, especially in the fourth quarter, we, we did a good job playing complimentary football. AJ's play doesn't show up a lot on stat sheets, AJ Cole. Right. But he's a weapon, and I don't think you'd be sitting here without him today. Can you talk about him as a player, sir? Well, again, I, you know, we've spoken about him before. He's just having one of those years, you know, and he's really worked hard in the offseason. He's gotten a lot stronger individually. But I can't say enough about the protection unit in front of him. This team had blocked three punts in the last four games. Um, they're a really good, well-coached physical group inside. They're playing with some defensive linemen in there, and, and uh, they had good push. And we had some new guys in our protection. Cleveland Farrell, you saw him make the big tackle down there, I think, on the first punt. And, um, you know, Down did a great job with the protection calls. And, you know, we, we count on A.J. to perform like that, and uh, he's playing true to form. Well, you guys lost Darren Waller pretty early on in the game. First off, do you have any update on stats? And then secondly, uh, what did you think of just the receivers stepping up in his absence? Um, that's great. Actually, I have not spoken to the trainer at this particular point. I just was trying to get around to every player in the room before, and uh, I've not seen him. So I think I'll probably have to do a better job with that tomorrow. But, yes, we did lose him early, and uh, it got us out of a couple packages. And, again, it, it put a little bit more on the back of, of um, Foster Moreau. And he also had to stay on the, the team's looks. You know, losing Teamer in the ejection kind of uh, messed with us a little bit. You know, we don't have a lot of – Nichols or backup Nichols or guys that play all four phases of teams like Teamer does. So um, we were scurrying around a little bit to get guys in some positions that they hadn't done or hadn't played before. So between the, the catches and the pass interference penalties, is this the kind of impact you were hoping for from Deshaun? Again, you know, it's now it's his third week in, in you know, playing with us. And, and I think the packages um, you saw come to fruition a little bit today. And I think that the big thing was, you know, Derek had a, a lot of a lot of time. I thought he stepped up in there today and made some really incredible plays with people around him at times, but um, the ability of, of Park and, and um, Colton to, to run those guys around the edge, a really good rusher in, in 11 and, and the way they play defense, and they gave us some favorable matchups to some degree, and, and uh, Derek did a good job of getting the ball out there. But, yeah, you can see Deshaun, uh, hopefully it's getting more and more um, comfortable in what we're, what we're asking him to do, and I think they all played well out there. Hunter certainly, again, big plays, and Zay and, and so on. So um, it was complimentary effort by everybody today. 
Coach, you mentioned that uh, you were happy for those guys in the locker room. How bad did they need that that win after losing three straight? You know, again, I, I tell them all the time. You know, I, I, and I told them in there. You know, at the end, I said, "It's I'm just not going to live by judging." men by wins and losses all the time. That's just how it is. And we, we want the scoreboard to go a certain way at the end of a game. And, and today, um, that's what it was. But, um, you know, there's, it's just being a winner is not all about points. Um, I understand the ramifications of performance on game day. I understand the ramifications of what column the end of your game goes on. But I, I'm, I'm just going to stick true to um, the effort they've been putting forth, uh, the things that they've gone through, and to come out on the winning end today. Uh, to go through it all the way in overtime and to play like that to the end. And, you know, you got to give credit to the Cowboys now that they didn't lay down. They kept playing. It was a physical game on both sides and an uh, emotional game looked like for both teams. I think they've got seven wins going into this game. So we talked about in the last press conference, it's a week-to-week -week league, right? And this week, um, due to our effort to some degree, um, it, it turned out to be us. How much of a relief is it, though, Rich, for the outcome to come on the side of the W for you guys? You know, I mean, it's you, you, you go into the game with the opportunity to, to improve and play as good as you possibly can and have a chance to win the game, right? That's what we're all trying to do. So um, I, I do believe the same thing, that when you, when you lose a game, if you stay in the wallers too long, it, it gets you. And I do believe if we walk around patting ourselves on the back for this for too long, it's going to get you too, right? They're both imposters, so we're going to enjoy it certainly um, today and on the plane ride, and they're going to have a few days off, and um, we'll come back on Monday and wash these last two games out and get ready for what's next. Have you seen a 35-year-old run that fast before? I know he's not 35 till next week, but Deshaun, when he took off up the sideline. Yeah, one thing he can still do is run. So it was, it was fun to watch him. Um, I think he, even he made the comment he was just excited to contribute today. And it, it was good for him, and it was certainly good for us. Have you seen Derek Carver run that fast on a 22 yard? Well, no, Derek Carver can run. He just doesn't always do it, but he, he can run. And he, he was, again, I just thought his ability to, to step up today and get the divvy the ball out like a point guard the way he did, and, and uh, credit to the protection as well. But it, it was exciting to watch, watch Derek play today. Rich, you spent five years here. Did this one mean anything? I know you. I know you. <laughs> Did this one mean any more to you than any Say it again. I just, I'm a little louder. You, you, you spent five girl. years. There you are. There you are. You spent five years here. Did this one mean any more to you than any of the others? That you oh, you know, I'd love to say yes and, and all those things. And, and um, you know, but I've been gone for four as well. And uh, certainly the relationships uh, that we've built here, um, not only myself, but, you know, certainly Coach Marinelli and, and some of the players. You know, I got to see Zach Martin and, and D-Law and, and Ty and, and Zeke and, and Dak. You know, those were guys that were here when we were here. And, and um, you know, the, we have a great relationship still. And, and I, we, we always pull for each other um, until we play each other. So um, we're pulling for them again now that they're on playing. But it was, it, it was really a great um, – opportunity for our team in there to respond on a short week from three you know bad weeks that we we'd like to think we had so I think that's the biggest thing is the way in which we responded you mentioned that uh, Derek played better this week um, is he a guy you don't worry about after three straight losses he's a guy pretty sure by his, his effort you mentioned like his, his leadership is that guy you can count on despite coming off three straight losses yeah I think you know Derek's is, is is his biggest critic you know he he wants to do well all the time and he wants to do well all the time in practice and he wants to do well in walkthroughs he's got a sense of focus in the meetings and so you know he's his biggest critic so again he he's been off sync a little bit we've all been off sync on offense a little bit so when it's good it's it's everyone is complimentary like we we alluded to earlier and when it's when it's bad it's easy to just point at the the one guy and he's the trigger guy and it's probably the most difficult position in all of sports right to go out there and do that week in and week out and and today he just you know look like Derek Carr. It's just fun to watch him play. Yeah, good. Right. Great. Thank you, guys. All right. Derek, you've been part of uh, some pretty big wins uh, here with the Raiders. Uh, given the circumstances, the stage, um, Losing Darren Waller earlier in the game. Uh, where does this rank for, for Derek Carr? That's never fun, especially the losing Waller part. Um, it's up there. I mean, it was good. Um, I mean, no one thought we were going to win this game. I mean, don't really blame you for how we played the last week, Paul. Um, yeah. but, uh, but we did, and you were wrong. So uh, that, that felt good because I love you. But uh, um, I don't know. I don't rank those things. It was fun. Um, I gave, gave it my all just like I always do. 
we just executed better today. Um, you know, the penalties obviously helped, um, and they were legitimate things that, you know, uh, that happened. You know, we felt, we kept saying, you know, they're hold. you know, if they don't hold us, we feel like we're going to hit those plays, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, you know, I, I thought that for our whole team, everything that's going on for us to be able to bounce back, it says a lot about the football character, character of the men. And uh, Josh here, Josh not here, but to an- no, but to answer his question, like, you know, that's why I believe, you know, that, that we can do, you know, keep going and make it a good run. You guys have talked about playing complimentary football, especially these last three weeks. In overtime, you pin them down, the defense gets a three and out, you guys drive for a field goal by your special teams. Does that kind of crystallize complimentary football? What you're a- talking about? There? Absolutely. We have to be able to, when, when they stop them, you know, we got to be able to move it and get points. You know, what, and we, we always talk about it. Let's get points. We want touchdowns, but we always want to keep adding to the scoreboard, especially against that offense, you know, against this team. You, you know, we scored early, and we're like, yeah, we got to – we were up 14. It was a six in the first quarter. It's like, that's not going to be enough, guys. We got to we gotta keep our uh, foot on the pedal. And obviously it came all the way down to overtime, you know, in their stadium. During the previous three games, obviously it was not a lack of effort. There was mistakes, yeah. but it wasn't lack of effort. Yeah. For you as a captain, how rewarding is it just to see the guys? Nobody quit, just kept fighting through, and then to get a big win like this. Oh, it's huge, um, Hondo. You're 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 on it, man. Because um, it, it's it's really easy to win football games and overlook some things, and then go on to the next week, answer all the fun questions, and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but it's really hard, um, you know, when you know nobody likes you, you know, uh, nobody cares for you, nobody wants to text you, you know, uh, before the game anymore, you know, those kind of things. Not saying that happened to me. Maybe it happened to some people. But, um, you know, I think for us to be able to battle through all that, we were our back was against a wall, you know. Um, there, there's no doubt about that. You know, that, that's just a fact. Everyone can see that. And the way that we fought today and for as long as it took to win, you know, we always say the fourth quarter or as long as it takes to win, um, we had to do that today, and I'm very proud of our team. Eric, you mentioned, you mentioned that uh, you felt like you could hit those plays if they weren't holding you. Is that something you saw on film? Because you guys came out very aggressive from the very beginning of the game. Yeah, I think, I think one thing I've tried to do this year, um, especially when Eleven was here, you know, was I, I was going to be so aggressive. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it leads sometimes to you don't complete as many balls, you know, uh, on a percentage chart or whatever. But to me, I just, you know, I, Gruden used to tell me, don't ever take your arm out of the game. You know, so when we call these things, let's let's rip them, you know. And so today, you know, we felt I, I, we saw some things on film where hopefully we get some looks. Hopefully we can get some one on ones down the field. And uh, we were able to find we were able to find some of those, you know, and have a, you know, an explosive day. And, um, you know, th- this defense, when you watch the film, though, they don't they don't give many of those up, you know. So that's why I'm just so excited that our we executed at such a high level, because when you watch the film, they're they're unbelievable. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it, it sounds repetitive, and I'm sorry if it does. But like, we get that touchdown. Okay, I look at the score. Okay, seven nothing. Let's go. Like, I'm excited. You guys, I, I'm very emotional, passionate person. But like, my mindset literally goes, okay, seven nothing. We got to keep going. You know. And uh, after the game, I get to go up to him, and be like, D Jack over a hundred again. You know, and uh, mess with him and have fun with it. But I don't. I can't exhale during the game. You know, um, especially with this one today, with how close it was. So. Um, we hit that play. It's exciting. It's exciting for him, obviously, with how how the first catch of his Raider debut went. So he had an exciting day. But he came up big for us on some very crucial uh, down and distances. First down, hitting a, um, I think it was fourth quarter. Uh, we're going that way. We're going that way. Um, where he ran the deep cross. He caught one. One man cover. Unbelievable, you know, um, things that he was able to do today. But I, I can't exhale, you know. I, I'm Win or lose, good, whether it's going good or bad, I have to stay in the moment. Zay Jones and Hunter Renfro had pretty big days today as well, both in catches and, and drawing penalties. Yep. Especially without them having Waller on the field to draw that attention, what do you think of just the receiving boys play overall? So proud of them. You know, we, I rudely joked last week that I just chose to throw it to Waller, you know, just because I didn't want to answer any questions, if I'm honest. Um, I just wanted to watch the film and move on, as you could probably imagine, right? And, um, you know, I think um, for all of those guys to step up, one, they have a, two outstanding coaches in their room. Um, Edgar Bennett and Nick Holtz, um, we're lucky to have both of them. You know, uh, they're both unbelievable in, in the way that they prepare these guys mentally, 
to handle all the checks that I do at the line of scrimmage. It's not easy to play in our offense, you know, and the way they handle it every week, even when Waller's getting all the credit, you know, um, you know, which rightfully so. He's, he's one of the best players. But the way that they keep their head down and just stay, th- that's why they have days like that today, is that they just keep their head down. They keep working. They keep working extra with me. What do you want on this route? What do you want on this route? Even if I haven't thrown it in like three weeks, what do you want on this route? Tell me. You want me to go like that? We had all walkthroughs this week. I told D-Jack on his touchdown, actually. I said, if we get a certain look, I want you to run right at that safety. I want you to go across the field because I'm going to throw it to you. He did it exactly how I asked him to. I threw it. I tried to throw as hard as I could, you know, and uh, he, he made an outstanding catch and break a tackle for a touchdown. I think that gives those guys, when the whole room hears that, co- that conversation, they're like, man, that could be me next time, or that could be me. So um, we've had those throughout the year, but it's exciting for all those guys to have a big day for as a room together. Does four days ago to now define how weird this league, not weird, but how crazy the league is, and you just can't count on anything being consistent to not get too down or too high? Absolutely. Um, uh, I, I've been doing it so long. You know, even when I was, we were 0 and 10, we ended up beating like three playoff caliber teams at the end of that year. You know, we were <laughs> not the best football team at that time. But, um, but like I, I always, I always tr- tell people, I was like, the NFL is designed for everyone to be kind of even. You know, they're superstar players, and there's you know, but every, it's designed to be in this sweet area, right? And any given Sunday, anyone can win a game. And we don't feel like we're just some terrible team that beat a good team today. We feel like we're a good football team. And the last couple of weeks, we just had. You know, we, you go look at the film, there's like three, four plays. Each game, we're like, gosh, head-scratching plays. Like, that's not, that's not me. You know, that's not you. Um, we got to clean that up. Come on, we're better than that. Um, and I think it's, it's the leadership in our, uh, with our coaching staff. It's the leadership in our locker room that keeps guys pushing. I think Foster said it great. Um, someone sent it to me, and I loved it. He said, no one gets to see what we do, you know, Monday through, you know, Sunday morning, you know. Um, the way that we come to work, win, win or lose. The, the smiles we have on our face, we love what we do. And uh, that's, why, that's why I say it's fun to go to work. You know, it, I know there's a lot of noise about our team all the time. It's the Raiders. It's always going to be like that, you know. But no matter what it is, we can come back in that, in that building and we just go to work. And uh, that's why I always have confidence in our guys. Derek, along, those, along those lines, um, you get to six and five. There's six games left to play. Everything is right in front of you. You're right in the thick of things. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how uh, satisfying is that to get to that point to give yourself a real opportunity now? Yeah, I mean, we're playing meaningful games. And, um, you know, it's something that um, we've gotten to do here a couple times. Uh, you know, and the one time we go to the playoffs, I break my leg and I don't even get to play. And uh, so that's, that's disheartening, but you, it's that drive, man. It's that thing that, that keeps staying in my heart, man, that uh, I just want to do it for this organization. You know what I mean? And so the fact that we're, we're right there, not where we want to be, um, but we're right there with a chance and an opportunity against some really good football teams coming up, um, some very capable football teams coming up. Uh, we know what's at stake. We know what we have to do. Uh, so hopefully we can, like I said, go on a run and get hot. Three more. We'll go on to you and then I want to ask you about your big 22-yard run. I mean, big <laughs> deal for you. And I mean, just the threat of it. I mean, yeah. they, they had to watch that the rest of the game. How big was that run, there? Yeah, I'd, I'd say um, – over the last couple of years, I'd run for a few first downs here and there, but that's probably one of the longer ones I've had in a while. Um, and, uh, you know, I, when, after I ran it, I looked over at Marcus and I gave him one of these. He just started laughing. I always call myself Cariota, and uh, he, uh, he gets a kick out of that one. Anytime I scramble in practice or in a game, uh, I'll come up to him and be like, Cariota, bro. And uh, he'll laugh at me, probably just to appease me. But um, it felt good to be able to pick up that. They ran a game, and they got, actually got tripped up. And I felt it. It, it. Honestly, it's just like experience at that moment. I, I knew they were in the man coverage look on the back end. And when that game happened and they didn't have contain, I just took off. How big was it to have Josh Jacobs be able to run the ball over 20 carries this game? Drake was able to get some runs off as well. And, and it was probably one of the better run games you guys have had this season. Makes everything easier, I promise you. You saw our play action game today. Um, whenever you can run the ball like that, the play action, the shots, the big plays, the run after catch is there. And, um, you know, for, for us to have that kind of run game, we're going to need it going forward, especially, you know, as the weather gets worse and as, as things get bad and, you know, gets colder and all these kind of things, we're going to have to be tough. We're going to have to run the football and have that, uh, that threat um, to, play, uh, to play action and all those kind of things because it opens everything else up. Did you see you had the shot coming on the first two weeks? And um, does he have the ability to kind of get defensive heads a little bit and kind of where they're thinking about him? He's not making plays. Yeah, absolutely. Even... I don't think he had a ball last week, but when he's on the field, people are like, 
the call I, I'm I'm noting the calls they're making you know how deep the safeties are you know how, how if they're playing a certain coverage where normally you could get a shot there they play it a little bit different when he's out there same thing they were doing with Henry you know and uh, it's fun to get creative with ways to get him down the field and use his speed um, but that threat is always there especially if you're you know you get the call as a defense guy and it's man man to man coverage and here here comes number one come trotting over to your side you know that's that's hard to do and uh, you know he he as we can see I don't know how old he is, but he can still fly, and uh, it sure is, it sure is fun to throw him the ball. Um, I'm glad he, I'm glad he had a big day. I felt it was coming, you know, um, with some of the looks. But sometimes you have some really cool plays for some guys, but you don't get the coverage you want. You know, you got to check out of it and do other things. But he was able to get a couple looks today, and we're able to hit him, so it was good. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Appreciate it. Any win is bigger than the other or another, but this was a as close to a must win as you guys could possibly have to get to six and five and put yourself in a position to make a run here. Um, how good did that feel in that locker room to come out of here six and five? Yeah, I mean, I mean, every every win feels feels amazing. Um, just just winning uh, the way we did. I mean, in overtime and with Daniel Sniper, Daniel Carson hitting that field goal, and it's just it, it gives us life, man. We trying to keep it going. Josh, it wasn't always easy for you all on the ground today, but you kept pushing and turning at it. What led you to break through with some of those longer runs later on in the game? Uh, we knew from the beginning of the game, we knew. Uh, we kind of knew that um, we was close to breaking big ones all day. It was just little technique stuff that we had to fin f uh, fix. And um, eventually, as the game go down, when they started making a couple mistakes and stuff, it just opened up. What kind of spark does uh, Rashad Jackson give you guys? I mean, you see, <laughs> you got to see it for yourself, man. That dude is electric. Um, it's crazy, man. I had talked to them after the game last week, and uh, I had told them, I'm like, man, we got to find a way to get these dudes the ball. Um, and just to see him come in and make big play after big play is, is definitely major. You ever seen a 35 year old run that fast? Shit, I didn't know he was 35. I didn't know he was. Th Ooh. Yeah, now nah, he looks so effortless, too. I'm like, bro, he used to be gliding. So he, that's crazy. You grew up a Cowboy fan growing up as a Nah, hell nah, no. <laughs> No, no, no. I actually didn't like them just because everybody in Oklahoma just about liked them. You know what I'm saying? So I was one of them, like, wasn't a big fan of them. So, and my, my people don't really like them. My people are Vikings fans. So, yeah. <laughs> like on the field there, which, I mean, I mean it was huge. Nice. Yeah, it was huge. I had 20 people here. Um, so, I mean, just, just to see all my family after the game and knowing they came out and supported me and just, just that atmosphere. I haven't been in this uh, stadium since my freshman year of college. Um, so, man, it was, it was definitely a, a big booster for me. What did it feel like for you to go over 20 carries for the first time this season? And yeah. It looked like you were just getting better and better as the game went on. I mean, as a running back, most running backs, that's how it goes, though. You know what I'm saying? You start off kind of slow, start wearing on the defense, and, and towards the end of the game, you start getting big ones. Um, so my body feels great. Um, came out that one real, real clean. So I kind of locked up in the game a couple of times. But besides that, I feel good. Coach Versace said he doesn't judge you guys by wins and losses, more by the effort he's been providing you guys in yeah. the last month. What's it been like living with him the last month and kind of the, the, the approach he's taken the last month? Man, one thing I can say about Versace is that he has the team's attention. He has he has full control of the room. Um, a lot of the guys before he even became the head coach was he was like one of the favorite coaches. You know what I'm saying? He he um, just has everybody's respect. Um, so when he talks, a lot of people listen to him. And a lot of people believe in the, in the words that he says. Um, so just to see him come out and, and still tell, uh, believing in us and telling us, like, you know, getting us going, getting us rowdy, keeping us on pace when we need to be, um, it's definitely huge for our team. You called uh, Daniel a sniper. Uh, yeah. A 56-yard field goal, um, which is no gimme at all. And then, uh, and then having to kind of survive some timeouts and drama mm -hmm. there. Um, a lot of confidence on him. For, on Man, him. if you would have seen me on the sideline, I was I was like sniper. I was I was pointed to the thing, everything. I'm like, yeah, I already knew it was, what was gonna go on. I knew they was gonna try to ice him. Um, but when I seen him talk to AJ, he looked at AJ and they both did like this. I said, oh yeah, it's going in. <laughs> How big is AJ? I mean, with his 
punting and everything yeah. he does. I mean, he's a weapon. I don't think he gets enough credit, honestly. Uh, his punting, man, dude's been amazing. Like today, he kicked some bombs. Um, I mean, and that's and that's huge for us because that can change the momentum of the game. Um, so AJ is definitely he's one of them dudes that come in. He's real chill. He'll talk to everybody. He and he works too. So yeah, big props to him too. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Hunter, sometimes you got to fight overtime to win a game. Um, it doesn't always take four quarters. Uh, that's what you guys did today. Um, how good does it feel to get to six and five with six games left? Everything yeah. still there to play for. Yeah, I felt like we showed the heart of our team today. It really did. Uh, you know, to fight like we did, you know, for them to go down and score and us respond, uh, I, I really feel good about, you know, the character of our team, especially what we've been through um, these last couple of weeks. And so, it was huge to get that win, uh, and hopefully we can build on that as we go forward, and you know, try to win them all. That's that's our goal from here on out. You know, just just win win as many as we can. With everything that's gone on the last few weeks, how how bad did you need that victory? Um, you know, <clears throat> sorry, you uh, you know, you don't want to say it's a must win, um, but I think we felt it a little bit. Um, you know, five and six a whole lot worse than six and five, and to be the good Cowboys team. Um, on Thanksgiving in prime time, um, it gives us a lot of confidence going forward. And so being at six and five, we have a lot of, you know, long road ahead of us, but um, we're in, we took a step in the right direction today. Hunter, you guys uh, have talked a lot about playing complimentary football, and I felt like in overtime with pinning them down, um, to, you know, to start their drive, getting the three and out. Oh. Offense comes in, boom, and then yeah. the field goal. That's, it seems like that was crystallized. Huge by ago. Nate. To, I think Nate tackled in their hobs right there inside the 10. Um, and then we were able to get um, them to punt the ball and then play complimentary football. And, you know, all three phases of the game um, play well today. And so, yeah, we got to keep playing complimentary football. And if we do that, then I think we'll be tough to beat. Hunter, they say the win is the ultimate deodorant anyways, but this looked like a different team. Even – if it hadn't gone your way, it looked like you guys were having more fun than you had since before the bye. Did that feel like that on the sideline? Yeah, I think we played with a lot of freedom today. I think um, for whatever reason, you know, we kind of we got sick of losing. We, we were on a three-game losing streak, and uh, and we said, you know, let's just go have fun today. Let's play. We're gonna have the we're gonna have the weekend off. for you know Thanksgiving. Um, let's go out there, have fun, play hard, and we can live with the results. And thankfully, you know, like I said, the heart of the team showed and um, gives us a lot of confidence going forward because um, I feel like we're, we're made of the right stuff. And even if we would have lost today, I feel like we're made of the right stuff. Um, it's just another thing going on and proving it. Did you see uh, Deshaun coming on the first two weeks? And does he kind of get defensive heads a little bit? Just going to those terms of yeah, that? absolutely. Uh, that was huge to open things up You know, later in the game for us, especially um, to take the top off the defense in the first first drive. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great player for a reason. Uh, and, you know, it's a lot of fun playing with him. And someone who can change a game, um, a lot of fun playing with, with someone like that. So it's a good win. That deep shot to you, did it feel like the ball was in the air forever? It did. I kind of, you know, I was running, and I kind of glanced back to see where I was, and they were, you know, Derek came to me on the sideline. He was.